All right, guys, Brandon Fry here, and I want to give you my review of the Steemit social media platform. I've been using it for five days now, so I feel like I've gotten a little bit of a grasp of how this works. There's still a lot of things I need to learn, and you're not going to learn everything in your first week using Steemit either. But first of all, let me just explain what, so, what uh, Steemit is. Basically, Steemit is a social media platform that's built on the Steam blockchain. It's a decentralized social media platform, meaning there's no one big entity that's uh, you know, powering everything and doesn't um, control everything. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer social media network, again, built on a blockchain. It's got some big differences between it and some of the, the big social media sites out there like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even YouTube. So uh, I'm not picking on Facebook at all, but I want to use it as an example to tell you the difference between Steemit and Facebook, okay? So the big difference is that, again, it's decentralized. So there's no one big entity that, that runs everything and that controls everything. Also, your information is not private on Steemit. It's public, so everybody can access the same information about anybody. Um, and I'll go into that here in just a moment. The big thing I wanna, that I want to talk about is how some of these big social media platforms, including Facebook, are using our information, our private information, and monetizing us. Okay, and how that works is they collect your data when you open up an account with Facebook. And I'm just again, I'm just using Facebook as an example. But when you create a Facebook account, you put in all your information. Over time, Facebook learns what you like, what you dislike because of the content you're looking at and you're liking on, you're hating on, or you know whatever book you put as your favorite book in your profile. You know, Facebook has a lot of data about each individual user that has an account with them, and they sell off this data, this information, to big companies and organizations so that they can place advertisements in front of you that are likely, you know, that you're likely to buy into. So they're monetizing us, and this is done on, on every big social media site, including YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So it's not really a big secret or anything like that, and I'm not really hating on them because it's a business model, right? But Steemit is completely different in the fact that all data is public. So everything's public because it's put on the blockchain, right? And instead of, you know, like Facebook takes all that money and puts it back into their pocket, Steemit puts the money back into the user's pocket. That's what I love so much about this platform. I also love that it's decentralized, so there's no big one entity that can shut my account down for some stupid reason um, like YouTube or Facebook can. So I really, really love the control of this. And the fact that they're they're taking care of their users and not the other way around, right? So I love this platform. That's why I decided to move my um, move some of my content to it. Now I didn't move away from any of those other social media platforms. That'd be crazy to, um, but I did start adding content here, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, the big reward is that you get paid for your content. So and this doesn't matter if you're a content creator, a vlogger, a blogger, whatever. If even if you're just one of those people that likes to like things um, or comment on things and read up on news stories and stuff like that, just want to consume your information on social media, which a lot of people do nowadays, Steemit can also be great for you because it will actually reward you. You can actually earn money for doing something you'd be doing already on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, okay? Or YouTube. I should throw them in the mix too because you can actually do a video on here as well, which I'll show you in a moment. So my first five days with Steemit. This is what some of you guys are probably wanting to know: how much did I earn? So I haven't even really gone over these totals, and I haven't posted a whole lot of a lot of content here. Just one, two, three. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve posts. Right. So twelve posts, and I would say I've made. Let's see. There's twenty six, thirty nine, thirty nine, um, forty uh, again, I haven't, <laughs> obviously, I haven't added this up. It's about 52, 52, uh, about 57 or $58. Okay, $58 in five days. That's what I've made um, my first week, not even my first week yet, first five days on Steemit. I'm just posting a few articles and videos. Now, one thing I want to point out is that some of these videos I had already uploaded like one, two, three three, four, four of these I already had on YouTube. So all I had to do was copy over the code to put it into here. And a couple of these were already up on my vlog. So I just posted things I already had on my, on my blog. Um, and then I wrote a couple of other articles. So I would say in total, I've spent about maybe one hour putting the content on here. And I've spent maybe another I'd say I've spent another hour just learning about Steemit. And you can learn a lot about Steemit just by going on the Steemit itself 
and, um, and looking up articles on Steemit. All right, guys, now before we get into how the Steemit platform works, I want to go over Steam, which is the main social, the main cryptocurrency that this was all built on. This is the blockchain technology that this was built on. So uh, this is what kills me with some people when they're talking about what is the intrinsic value. They, they think that cryptocurrencies are just another fiat currency with no v- real value behind them. And when people say that or they make that claim, then I, I know right away they have not done any research <laughs> into the technology of these blockchains. If they had, then they would know exactly where the value is. Now, I will admit that a lot of the value in some of these cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, is the fact that there's it's a supply and demand, right? So there's not enough demand. I mean, sorry, there's not enough supply for the demand out there. And the demand with Bitcoin is increasing and increasing every single day. So I, I do admit that a lot of the, the pricing is coming from that supply and demand equation. But if people were to really look at the technology of these blockchains, they would know where the real value is, you know, and all of the the new digital technology coming out of this, not just a steam at social media platform, which is awesome. I mean, we've got it, we've got it, you know, impacting every single sector, right? Boeing just announced the other day, they're getting into it for GPS. Um, Ripple is now being used in the banking sector for international bank wire transfers. Um, there's new apps that are going to be used for, to replace PayPal. So instead of a middleman PayPal, taking a fee, huge fee, <laughs> I should mention, no fees. How about no fees? And how about instant, right? Point to point, peer to peer. So anyway, there's tons of technologies coming out of this whole, whole, whole digital cryptocurrency era that we're in. But this is all brand new, guys, and a lot of people don't understand it, don't know it, and they're not doing any research on it. They're just looking at the mainstream news, which is very misleading. So make sure you're doing your research and understanding these technologies. I do invest in several cryptocurrencies, and I make sure that I understand, uh, first of all, the purpose of the new cryptocurrency. What technology are they trying to improve, or, or what new thing are they trying to create? Um, also, I like to look at the team behind it. I look at their social media accounts to see if they're active and what they have going on, if they've signed any partnerships. So I do a lot of research on cryptocurrencies before I decide to invest in them. And honestly, I haven't even invested in the Steam currency. I own a little bit of it, but I wouldn't call it an investing amount. Um, but I know that I'm going to be earning Steam by being a content creator on the Steam at platform, so I'm not really worried about that. I feel like I'm backing it anyway just from using the Steam at platform. But anyway, I digress. Let's look at this Steam uh, website real quick, which explains um, the smart or the media tokens behind Steam. Okay, so Steam Steam is a blockchain-based rewards platform for publishers to monetize content and grow community. The approximate USD value of rewards paid since June of 2016 is over $22 million. All right, pays to use them. All right, so what are smart media tokens, SMT? An SMT is a native digital asset on the Steam blockchain. SMTs can be launched by anyone to help monetize online content and create incentives to encourage desired user behavior. They're like Ethereum's ERC-20 tokens, but with certain built-in proof of brain properties and a token distribution reward system designed specifically for digital content businesses. Okay, very technical. I don't understand all of that, <laughs> but um, basically they, they have created a token that can be used for rewards with content creators, digital content businesses. Okay, uh, let's go down a little bit. Faster than Bitcoin and Ethereum with no fees. Zero fees, guys. That's, that's huge, right? That's what we're moving to. That's why I don't think, and I'm not saying Steam is going to be the, the number one cryptocurrency out there. Uh, uh, there's a lot of others that I back, but this is what we're moving towards. Faster, more secure, less fees. And uh, some coins actually have more anonymity, like Monero, um, PIVX, I believe it's one of them, Dash. So it's a lot of different things you should look at when you're investing in coins, but I'm not talking about that on this video. Now, the first app on Steam was Steam. It's a social network that pays its community. All right, Steam is a blogging platform with its own SMT called Steam. These tokens are distributed to content creators and curators daily as rewards based on the community voting. So this is really cool because not just anybody has so much power. So when you're a brand new user to Steam, let's go back to my account here. When you're a brand new user to Steam, it I mean, you're going to have this little number next to your name. And when you first start, it's 25. Okay, and that's due to your reputation, your authority. You know, have you invested any money in Steam? Have you earned any Steam um, dollars? Uh, are you voting on stuff? Are you creating content? So you build your authority over time and this number increases. Now in five days, I've gone from 25 to 45. All right. Now I've been active on here. I've posted content that people like. 
you know, and the fact that people like it has, has um, earned me some more authority, which is cool. But getting back to this, the whole cool thing about this is that, you know, the more, the bigger you become on Steemit, the more authority you gain by producing good content and voting on good content, you know, the more authority you gain and the more power you have, right? So instead of, uh, like on Facebook, you know, <laughs> I don't know how many people try to, to, to really beat their algorithm for search results, but um, they've gotten to where it's almost impossible. I have a, like just for an example, I have a Facebook business page and I'll post something on there and like nobody will see it. Even though I have like 3,000 people have liked my page, or I think it's more than that actually, um, even though like over 3,000 people like my page, like nobody is viewing my stuff. And that's just like impossible, right? Well, that's because the algorithm is, is stacked against you, right? But on Steemit, so the more you create good content, the more people like your good content, the more you vote on stuff that is good content, the more authority you get, which will help you get more, um, really more uh, exposure to your articles, your blogs, your blogs, whatever, um, on Steemit. At least that's the way I understand it working. All right. So let's go down here a little bit. Rewards paid so far is over $22 million. User accounts over 30, 334,000 user accounts already. Monthly post over 234,000. Monthly comment 600,000. So um, they are really, they're really making, um, making an impact in the social media world. And I think it's so cool. All right, so it's not just Steemit though, guys. Steam, again, is the blockchain technology and there's a lot of applications that have been built on it. So I'm gonna go into some of those right now. So if you go to steamtools.com, you will see a lot of different uh, Steam applications that have been built on the, the blockchain by users, just everyday users, guys. You can, I don't know how to, <laughs> okay? And I'm sure there's courses and, and uh, articles that teach you how to. I don't know how to create an application. I'm not a programmer or anything like that but the API or the blockchain is available to anybody who wants to use it and wants to create something. So what's cool about that, you know, you can create anything you want, right? So let's look at some of the things that people have built. All right, so um, Steemit post notify bot, notifications about new articles in Telegram. It's kind of cool. One of my favorite things right here is DTube. Let me open that up real quick, actually. DTube. All right. So one of my biggest concerns when I first came to Steemit was that we don't, there's no way to natively upload videos. You'd have to pull your YouTube embed code and put it into your Steam article, or you just have, would have to upload your video to somewhere else, right? Cool thing is somebody already thought of this, um, and I found out about this a couple of days after I'd started, you know, embedding my videos, but they've actually got their own YouTube-like site. It's very similar. If you look at this, it looks so similar to YouTube. You can follow people. You can like stuff. And look, people are making big money off their videos, right? Let's try to find one. or $349 this person has made in two days off this one video. $253 right here. $461 seven hours ago he <laughs> uploaded this video. All right. So um, again, another another application built on the Steam network, so you can just upload your videos here if you want. And when you do that, I've, as you can see, I've already created an account. When you upload your videos here, it automatically goes on to Steemit as well if you want it to. So you don't have to post in both places, which is really cool. Um, and I plan to be using this from here on out as far as, um, now I will continue to post on YouTube as well, but I plan to use this um, DTube, which is Decentralized Tube, to upload videos as well, just so I have a backup of my videos. One thing that's scary about, especially my, my industry that I'm in, I'm a professional network marketer. And network marketing, there's so many people that think things are scams, uh, Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, and all this stuff. And these people will flag your content and uh, YouTube, at their discretion, could just take down your videos, even though it's a perfectly, um, perfectly fine business model of a company that you're promoting. That could still happen. And I've actually had that happen in the past. So I'm going to be uploading my videos to DTube as a backup and possibly even moving completely away from YouTube depending on how this takes off. Of course, I care about my following and stuff like that, so I always keep that in mind as well. But it's good to have a backup of everything and another place, another place to have exposure. So I'll be using DTube as well. So let's look at some of these other tool, tools or applications that have been built on it. Steam Alert, Steam Watch, um... Steam Buddy, find and connect to Steamians with the same interests. That's kind of cool. 
let's see some other things that are that are more practically using <laughs> dead followers. Anybody wants to follow that are dead followers, grateful dead followers. Um, let's look at some of these other things. Auto Steam, an automation tool for voting, curating, and browsing Steam it. I don't really like the automation things. I like to to think that everybody's actually out there voting on content that they really like, they've read, stuff like that. Um, so they've also got, let me go back to the top here. I know that they have a, a way to do programming. So if you are a programmer and you like that kind of thing, Radiator, you can do Steamy, Steam Ruby API client. So programming uh, with the Ruby, I guess that's the Ruby programming language there. And I'm not a programmer, so if I'm saying something crazy, don't kill me for it. Anyway, there's a lot of cool applications here, so just go through them. This is on steamtools.com, and you might see something you want to use. Like, I ran across that D-tube, decentralized tube, and I was like, okay, this answers, you know, that problem that I had that I was thinking, oh, my God, I'm still going to have to upload to YouTube, and that doesn't really solve the problem of what if YouTube, you know, blocks my videos or my channel or something like that. Um, <clears throat> you know, I can upload them here. And here's what's a lot of people, like there's some big time vloggers out there that are making a killing on YouTube, but they've been complaining in the last couple of years that YouTube has been demonetizing their content, meaning that they're uploading videos and YouTube will say, even if they don't cuss, they don't say anything political or anything racial or anything, you know, off limits with YouTube. Sometimes they, they upload perfectly good videos and YouTube is still flagging them or demonetizing their, their uh, videos so they can't you know, earn an income off of it. And some of these vloggers have really devoted their time and efforts into making it a full-time career, you know, using YouTube. So I think it's wrong that YouTube has been doing some of that sort of stuff. And so a lot of people have found a way to get through that, around that, by using DTube and Steemit and just moving their following over there, you know. And they're making a lot more, honestly, than they're making on the monetization of some of these big ad, um, you know, of the ad revenue that they were making on YouTube because of the, their following. So this isn't dependent on you being able to post or have ads, pop-up ads or click ads, you know, go in front of your video. It's based off of your creating good content. So uh, let's go back over here. Now there is one tool that I'm using. It's a, an app that was built on Steemit called Steam Follower. I didn't start using this. Let me show you my channel again. So let me explain how I, got, how I made this money first too, because you'll see like my first one, two, three, four videos did about $13 a piece on each one of those. Now the reason that happened, let's look at this. The reason why that happened, now if I click on this, it'll tell me when it's pan out, it pays out in two days. Um, but if you look at the upvotes, where can I see this at? I think I got a click on here. Go to the bottom here and I'll look on the upvotes here. This guy right here, Crypto, Crypt Octopus, cool guy. He um, has a ton of followers. Um, he's got some cool content as well. Very nice guy. He actually found me on YouTube and decided to follow me on Steemit and um, or at least upload some of my content just to give me a you know a little running start. And that's one thing you'll notice with the Steemit community, which is unlike YouTube or Facebook or anything else like that. They're really for the new pe the new people, the newbies. So, like, if you go to Steam it, if you go to the front page here, there's actually a section called Introduce Yourself. Now, some people take advantage of this, but one of the tags you can use on your vlog or your blog or article or whatever, you can put in the tag Introduce Yourself. So, if you're brand new to Steam it, I recommend using this. Let's go to the new ones here. And you'll see, um, look, Introduce Yourself, Community Steam it. Just wanted to introduce yourself a little background. My friends call me Marifani. So anyway, she's just introducing herself. So what's cool about this is that some people who are veterans to the Steemit community been on here for a couple of years, you know, and myself included, and I just started, but um, we can go through here on the Introduce Yourself tab and actually go in here and like. Now, some people, like, again, will, will abuse this. This has nothing to do with introducing yourself. Um, so let's find another one where somebody is like, here's their introduction right here. Hello, my name is Ankit. I was recently introduced by, to Steemit by a friend, and I'm excited to join this, this uh, community. My interest in topics will be writing, include crypto investing, beer, gym, this is me. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and upvote him. And I'm going to leave a reply here. Hey, 
I am Man Kit. Welcome to the community. And I look forward to hearing about your crypto investing um, endeavors, baseball endeavors. Okay. So I just do that. You can upvote your own little, this is considered a post as well too guys. So like a con in Facebook, this would just be a comment, not a post. This is actually considered a post as well, right? So click that. Cool. So I've welcomed to the community. As you can see, I don't have a, a ton of authority yet, but I gave him another penny. <laughs> so every little bit counts and I'm just gaining. It's only been five days. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So that's how that works. And so what I was trying to get to really guys is let you know that this platform is really built for the new person to succeed and be able to start making a little money off of their articles and their time they're putting into this. So the, the Steemit community, the veterans, and even the new people like me will go through this, introduce yourself, and actually find the new people and, um, and comment and of their stuff. So that's what happened to me with these first one, two, three, four posts. And then the others, you can see it's just kind of uh, natural here. Um, and then right about here, Right before I did this article yesterday, um, how to gain steam at followers and upvotes, for one thing, a lot of people wanted to know this, how, how to do this, how to get um, more upvotes as a new person. So I found a cool tool called Steam Follower. This is perfectly legit. There's nothing wrong with using this. And what it does is it allows you to do manual curation like you normally would, meaning you, know, you can vote on stuff, you can like stuff. Um, you can uh, comment on people's posts, you can read posts. So what I do is instead of going through here and you know, going through articles like I normally would, I'll just go through Steam Follower. And what happens is I earn points for everything that I upvote. And I only upvote stuff that I really truly like. Um, but, you know, naturally as I'm upvoting stuff, I actually get points for it. And as I collect points, my stuff gets sent out in front of the Steam Follower community and they will upvote it as well. So I started doing that yesterday. And as you can see on my blog here, it's paid off. I've already made $4.16 on this one little article where I was talking about uh, Steam Follower. Um, and that's because it got put in front of the Steam Follower community and they upvoted on it. All right. So that's one way you can kind of get a jump start is using Steam Follower here. And again, it's perfectly legit. I wouldn't use any automation tools because you you might get flagged or something. It's just tacky. And you're not going to build any authority that way because you're not actually liking good content. And that's very important with this is to make sure you're you're really liking stuff that's 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 good. You know, if somebody posts a meme of some of something, you know, I'm not gonna like upvote that or anything unless it's hilarious, unless it's really funny. Uh, I'm not gonna upvote on that. So anyway, guys, that's Steam Follower. Let's see, we've gone over Steam Tools, we've gone over DTube. So yeah, so you know, if I had to to say anything, um, I, re I really really like this this uh, community, this social media platform. If I had to say anything bad about it, I would say, you know, it's, it's new. So it's only been going for a couple of years now. So of course we have room to grow here. So there's not as many people on here as you'd like. I've looked up some people and I've found them. Um, I've looked up others and I haven't found them. So I've been talking to them, trying to get them over here. There's one channel I would love to get on here and that's altcoin buzz. Uh, if he hears us, uh, Jeff over there, or if any of them hear that at Altcoin Buzz, I hope they'll come over here and create a channel. I think they'd make a killing for one. Um, plus, I would just love to follow them on here. Um, and then a lot of my friends in the network marketing community, uh, you know, guys, a lot of people in the network marketing community are, are marketing and advertising and, and making videos or blog posts on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, or on YouTube. And they're not, they're not making anything for it unless somebody buys into their network marketing opportunity. So, get paid for your marketing efforts, guys, you know, and I'm posting stuff about my businesses on here, right? Not all the time. Sometimes I'm talking about crypto or Bitcoin and stuff like that, but you know, you could be making money just by, you know, in the waiting period until somebody does join your business. So anyway, I digress on that. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about real quick is there's a difference and I'm not going to even pretend like I fully understand this, but if you go to the wallet here and yesterday or the day before I decided to add some money to my Steam account. So I added uh, $200. Um, part of that's still in Steam. That's why I say I'm sort of invested in Steam, but not really, because I don't think 26 Steam is a serious investment or anything. Um, but I put most of it in Steam Power, okay? And what Steam Power does is that's what gives you the authority. That's what gives you 
more voting rights. That's what gives you more power. So let's go over each one of these real quick. And again, I'm not going to pretend that I completely understand them, but this is what I do understand of them. So Steam is the digital currency, the tradable token that you'll find on the market exchange. So like on, if you go to CoinMarketCap, uh, I think it's CoinMarketCap.com, you will find the Steam token on there. I think you could even find the Steam dollar on there. Don't quote me on that. But you'll find the Steam tradable token on there. That's the main currency. So it says right here, tradable tokens that may be transferred anywhere at any time. And uh, it can also be converted to Steam power in a process called powering up, which is what I did. So anyway, Steam is the tradable coin. It can be traded for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever you want to trade it for, US dollar. Um, so that can be traded out on the open exchanges. Steam Power is used internally on the Steam at social media platform, so you can turn your Steam into Steam Power, which gives you influence. So influence tokens, which give you more control over post payouts and allow you to earn on curation rewards. So if you're upvoting and stuff like that, you can actually make money on that. Um, it says part of Brandon Fry's Steam Power is currently delegated. Delegation is donated for influence or to help new users perform actions on Steam. Your delegation amount can fluctuate. Right, and so the cool thing about Steam Power is it actually holds its value to the Steam, the Steam crypto coin. So it's actually about double this is the worth of it anyway. Um, so if we go, I believe that's right. Yeah, about double the worth of that. So if you go down to the bottom here, you'll see my estimated account value is two hundred twenty-seven dollars. Now when I put that in there, it was worth two hundred, and I believe it's the fluctuation of the Steam cryptocurrency that has actually increased that a little bit. So I didn't even touch on this one, but Steam dollars. So these are tokens that are worth about $1 of Steam, currently collecting zero APR. So Steam dollars is actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's what you actually earn through your curation, you know, upvoting, commenting, sharing. Um, it's also what you earn from content creation. So if I write an article, it gets a lot of upvotes. This is how I earn my money from Steam dollars. So the cool thing about this, and at first I thought, this is so complicated. They've got three different currencies right here. Steam, Steam Power, Steam Dollars. What in the world have I gotten myself into, right? But here's the, here's the reasoning behind it. So if you go to, let's go back to my blog here. Now, as you can see, we were just looking at this a minute ago, and it said 416, right? Well, I just came back, and it still says 416, even though the Steam cryptocurrency is fluctuating out there in the market, going up and down and up and down and up and up and up and down. So it hasn't changed any. That's important, right? If, if we were just going on the Steam currency here and that was worth $4 of Steam, that would be fluctuating up and down all day long and it would be so confusing to the people who are, um, who are upvoting, who are, who are using the social media platform. It would be so confusing. So the way they simplified it is they created what they call Steam Dollars. Steam Dollars, the way I understand it, is that they can actually create or burn Steam dollars to keep the currency at a steady rate of about $1 per one Steam dollar. Okay, so it's not a currency you wanna invest in, it's not going up, <laughs> right? But it's good to have that because it's always gonna be worth a dollar and they can put that, that can actually be the token we're using on the blogs um, for rewards. So it stays, it maintains its value and it doesn't go incredibly down or incredibly up, right? So it, it all makes sense after you think about it uh, and process it for a little bit. When I first joined the Steemit platform and I was looking at this in the back office, I was like, what in the world? Like, I, I just can't wrap my head around why they would have three different, three different currencies. Now, the savings I don't really quite understand. Um, I haven't used that yet, so I'm not even going to go into it. Um, but I would recommend that if you're going to use a Steemit social media platform that you do invest a little bit, whether that's $20, $30, $50, and it doesn't have to be much, but just go ahead and put some into Steam, and then you can um, power that up to Steam Power, and that gives you some influence, some authority, and you know, really, you're investing in the platform too, in the in the Steam cryptocurrency. So, um, I would uh, recommend doing that um, right away if you can. If not, don't worry about it. You'll earn Steam as you as you go along, and you can always power up from there. But uh, yeah, guys, so this is pretty much just my overview of Steemit, what I think about it so far. I've already gained 14 followers. Um, I'm following 10 people, 44 posts. Doesn't mean I've made 44 blog posts. It just means that I've made uh, posts. This is a accumulation of my posts and my replies and stuff like that, right? So guys, if you're, if you're wanting to create an account on Steemit, just go to steemit.com and create your account. Um, you can also follow me. You know, I recommend, of course, finding me and following me. So I'll leave my link in this video so you can do that. 
Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to cover here today. Probably went over more than I really wanted to. But I wanted to kind of give you an idea of, of my experience with it so far. And again, the only complaint I guess I can have is that we don't have that many users yet. I mean, we've got a lot, right? We've got, let's see how many users we got. We've got 334,000 users, so it's a lot. But we're just growing. We're just getting started, so it is a little bit limiting. But I think as it grows, um, we'll see we'll see this, this number increase a lot, right? So that's about my only complaint about it that I can think of. Um, if you go on the steam.io website, you'll see their amazing community. They've got a huge team, right? Um, so anyway, guys, I think this is an incredible platform to use. I also think the Steam cryptocurrency is worth investing in just because of the technology behind it and what they're doing with it. So many different applications coming out. Um, and I can go on and on and on about that. But guys, um, that's been my review, my five-day review of the Steam App platform. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Um, you can always upvote this article if you're on Steam App. And until next video, we'll see you soon. Have a good one, guys.